Hey there, you filthy animals. Mr. Dirty back with another episode of the GTM Show. And today, we got chicken. Chicken from the frozen food department on the show. This is from Pierre's Daredevil Boneless Wings, and this is going to be the garlic parmesan flavor. So here's the package you're looking for if you're looking for this in the stores. Uh, yeah, Pierre's. Remember these guys? Um, we've had these guys on the show so many times, but it's usually a porta patty where it's like a chicken sandwich or maybe a steak and cheese from like a, you know like a dairy cooler or something. Chicken, just boneless chicken, not even with the bone in it or anything like that. And um, yeah, so they got like the regular flavor, and then they got the garlic parmesan. Seemed interesting. I think there might have also been like a teriyaki. Actually, there's right here on the side. It's a sweet Asian chili, buffalo style, and the garlic parmesan that we got. So there's the other varieties that uh, we could have scooped. Inside here it says includes two trays, flavor pack, and kicker sauce. So what about the kicker sauce? Turn up the burn, it says. Includes kicker flaming pepper sauce, if you dare. And uh, we do dare, I suppose. Uh, especially if it's going to make us like... Um, like get a dirt bike and a cape and go jumping off a cliff or whatnot. Out of the microwave though, that's what we got here. We've got microwave instructions. Um, that seems to be the thing going on lately. There's no oven instructions. Like people don't bake anything anymore. They just fucking do the microwave. And for us around here, it really depends on the size, like the portion that we're getting a hold of. Like um, say if we had like a big family uh, Stouffer's entree. Of course, that's going in the oven. Uh, if it's a single-serve Stouffer entree, that's going in the microwave. Here, we've got what appears to be a pretty decent-sized box. I mean, it's 14 ounces of chicken going on here. Maybe, in nowadays standards, maybe it's 14 ounces, including the cardboard box. I'm not quite sure about that. Either way, the cardboard box doesn't weigh jack shit. Here's a sketchy part off the cover here. Contains no wing meat. Okay, even though it says boneless wings, they've gone with a, a Y and a Z. Because there's actually no fucking chicken wings going on here. It's a shaped chicken breast patty fritters with rib meat. Good lord. Let's just crack this open and see what we got before we go throw it in the microwave. So there's what they're talking about with the two trays going on. Bust out one of them because that's all we're going to be getting into. We're not going to be making both of these. Uh, what are we supposed to do here? Slide out tray and remove plastic covering. Thaw both sauce packets under warm water in sink. This says to remove wings from the bag and put into tray. Heat and microwave on high for one and a half minutes. Pour thawed garlic parmesan wing sauce large packet over wings and mix. And it says if you dare take the daredevil wings challenge. Add as much of the kicker sauce packet as you dare to increase the burn. And then uh, for number six, it says revel in your daredevil. It told us to go ahead and take that off of there. So, all right, there's our chicken in a pouch right there. We're going to be uh, cracking that open, dumping those in there. And there, that's going to be our kicker sauce. So we're supposed to thaw this under water. And there's our garlic parmesan sauce. All right, they got us opening this up and putting these guys into the tray. So let's get a closer look. Wow, it smells like Chinese food when I crack that open. Not so much anymore, but yeah, if on first opening that up, it kind of smelled like sweet and sour chicken from the uh, local Chinese takeout. And that's uh, what they're calling a uh, chicken fritter of rib meat. There you go. If you ever wondered what a fucking chicken fritter of rib meat was. So, um, let me go thaw this shit under water and nuke this up, and then we're going to come back and see what we got. Alright, stick around. Alright guys, we're back. We've got our Pierre's Daredevil Boneless Wings of the uh, garlic parmesan variety out of the microwave. And we haven't put the sauce packets in there yet. They are thawed. So this one's our garlic parmesan. This one's our kicker sauce. Remember, they dared us to use as much of this as we possibly could. Kick it up, they said. At first, we were supposed to add this and mix. And honestly, right out of the microwave, and we did let this run for the minute and a half, then I stirred them. And I threw them back in there for another 30 seconds. Because of Pierre's track record on the show, I didn't trust it to be done after a minute and 30 seconds from frozen state. 
I did throw it in there for an extra 30. But yeah, there you go. It looks like uh, gigantic fucking chicken nuggets. Yeah. It does smell pretty good. It, you know, it smells like the uh, sweet and sour chicken from the local takeout place, but it doesn't have that tempura outside. I say this is more of like a, like a pinko crumb type deal. Let's add our uh, garlic parmesan sauce. Bam. Ugh. It smells good. That's what that's worth. Alright, so they said to mix that up. Bam, bam, bam. Just following the instructions. All tossed up in there. They're all completely coated. Should we try it before we add the kicker sauce? Let's do that. I think that's the right thing to do. To, you know, give the actual product itself a go before adding the, uh, what's going to add, like, make it a daredevil product, I suppose. All right, here we go. All right, the flavor, it comes on strong, and then it's fleeting. And then it just kind of leaves you with, like, um, cheap garlic flavor aftertaste. Uh, the quality of the chicken meat going on here, you immediately get hit with, like, inconsistent texture on the chicken. Or, like, some of it seemed to be, like, kind of grisly, chewy, and then the other half was, like, um, I don't know, just kind of left me with, like, why is this chicken meat melting on my tongue? Hit that one more time. Yeah. The texture's all over the fucking place with this chicken here. Because they've mechanically separated it and pieced it back together again into this shape. Let's add our kicker sauce. Because right now, all I taste is, like, uh, cheap garlic. Add, uh, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to add the whole packet. I got your kicker sauce. I don't know how hot this could possibly be. But the overall scent right now is that of just, like, Tabasco sauce. All right. Let's give that a, a diligent tossing. And go in this now. Completely covered with the kicker sauce. Wow. The garlic parmesan mixed with Tabasco sauce is a uh, quite an interesting and exotic flavor. <coughs> Alright, that uh, kicker sauce has got a nice little burn to it also. Definitely, um, if you're going to do that, just do what I did and just dump the whole packet in there. Uh, don't nickel and dime it. This is how you get the full effect right here. Oh, there we go. That's the shit I don't like. I just hit like a big chunk of like fatty gristle. For me, that's an instant deal breaker. Um, that also mixed with the fact that they didn't go with like a, a tempura breading or anything, any kind of crispy breading, you know. It's that soft breading stuff, chicken nugget junk, that when it gets wet, it gets soggy. This never had any chance of being crispy chicken. Now, the flavor was good. The uh, cheap Parmesan garlic mixed with the, uh, the hardcore extreme Tabasco pepper sauce came across as something really good. But yeah, fatty chicken and soggy breading in my book is just like a eh. So the flavor is good, but yeah, the quality. The quality has to come up a shit ton. So after hitting the fatty grizzly thing, I can honestly say I would not buy this again. Uh, it's a total turnoff for me, so I'm giving this a 2 out of 5. Alright, so there you have it, the uh, Daredevil Boneless Wings, uh, the garlic parmesan kind from Pierre's. Check it out. I'm Mr. Dirty, so GTM. So don't forget you can buy knucklehead shirts and hoodies down in the description. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the real Mr. Dirty. And as always, get out of here, go have a rotten day.